All right, it is a beautiful March, end of March. I think it's like March 25th or something a day. As you can see behind me, it's bluebird skies, nearly 90 degrees. And I'm sitting out here in the bird uh, because I finally get the capability of doing that. What I mean by that is uh, we've kind of been a little wounded here lately. Uh, back on December 28th, 2021, yep, three days after Christmas, Verlene and I went to Seth's Cajun uh, on a motorcycle ride for dinner like we typically do one, sometimes two times a week. We like to take the scooter out for a ride. And uh, lo and behold, we had had a fantastic dinner with fantastic service, as we always do. We're coming back on the Harley. Uh, and we're at 515 West. We're headed westbound, with the, which is a one-lane road. And then some knucklehead uh, decides to make a left turn on 515 eastbound, so we were crossing, it's one lane of traffic, so for him to go eastbound, he has to make that left turn, okay? So we're coming and he makes that left turn to go on northbound 2946. Needless to say, we were doing 60, 62 miles an hour speed limit, and uh, when he decides to make that left turn after sitting there waiting for other vehicles to pass by, he's like, oh, I can beat the motorcycle and pulls right out in front of us and just poof, I team bone straight into the side of him. Um, obviously we're live, um, but the public service announcement here is number one, <laughs> for the second time in a year, less than a year, two, 10 months, I've now been in a wreck that's caused me uh, concussions and other damage, which we'll go over here in a second. But more importantly, the public service announcement is, is this is the second time I've been in a not my fault accident with a toy, such as a bass boat, such as a motorcycle, that was not my fault, and both people had minimal health and property insurance. So let's go over the details real quick of what, what exactly happened to me. Uh, concussions, again, Cuts and bruises, cracked bones, broken bones, dislocated shoulder. Uh, I'm gonna put some pictures of the x-ray of the ball, of the ball and socket joint on my humerus. The ball is supposed to be round inside that joint. Mine now has a permanent dent in it. You can see it right up here. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm now having to go through months and months of physical therapy and maybe even a surgery to get all the scar tissue and stuff removed so that I can get movement back into my shoulder. Uh, both arms were dented and busted up. I had a dislocated thumb that they popped back in right there on the highway. Um, like I said, cuts and bruises, cracked bones uh, in the rib area, shoulder broken bones, bruising all over front and back, shoulder blade. Uh, but at the end of the day, I even had bruises on my toes, right? Bruises on my toes. And I'm laid out on the highway, as you might can imagine, the old cliche that things happen in a blink of an eye. Folks, it's true. That dude was sitting right here, patiently waiting to make his northbound turn, but he wasn't patient enough to let us pass by before he said, I can beat him. And we T-boned right into him. We went from 60 to zero like that. Literally, in the blink of an eye. I didn't have time to lay the back over. I didn't have time to really dodge too much to the left or too much to the right. And the reason for that is because here on this stopped 2946, people were waiting for the traffic to go by so they can come back on to 515 east or west. So if I had veered right, I would have gone in him anyway. And if I missed him, I would have hit all these parked cars in their side. And there was cars behind him waiting to either go straight on eastbound 515. So if I'd have veered left, I would have went head first into them. So either way, we were going to be in a motorcycle accident. Now, I'm not sponsored by Progressive. 
I don't get any feedback, no money, no compensation, anything. This is free advertisement for you. Again, public service announcement. But I can tell you what, without a shadow of a doubt, Progressive has stepped up and they paid for everything thus far. So my announcement to you is pay the money, just pay it, right? Your underinsured or uninsured policy, make sure you have one for starters and then max it out. Just max it out. $30,000, I ain't gonna cover shit. It just doesn't cover it. The care flight alone, folks, that took me from Emory, Texas to UT Tyler Health in Tyler, Texas, 25 minute flight, $38,000 later. If you're in an emergency situation, are you covered? More importantly, is the care flight in your network on your insurance? You don't know that. You're laid out in the middle of the highway. So your insurance may only cover 40%. It may cover 30%. It may cover 0%. And you can't expect nor plan somebody else to have insurance to cover your ass while you're laid out on the highway. So needless to say, the motorcycle was destroyed it was totaled out progressive had to buy me a new one i'll put pictures all around here you'll see pictures of it you'll see the damage to the dude's car it was hauled off because it was undrivable windows were busted doors were busted corner panels were busted tire was busted wheel was busted it was a collision we pulled down in front of him heart of davidson cvo cruiser 2016 model with two people on it it was undrivable now, as you might can imagine, I've got the 16 H8 pangers that you can see in the pictures here because I'm tall, I'm six foot four, 240. I took all of that energy into my hands, my arms, my elbows, my wrist, thumbs, because it's wrapped around the grip. This shoulder stayed together, this one didn't. And I still, I can't raise it above my head because of all the scar tissue still left in the front of my chest, my shoulder, shoulder blade. Again, I broke bones in there. I got a dented ball socket on the humerus bone. And uh, it's been a painful experience. Um, but, uh, you know, concussions. Yes, I was not wearing a helmet. Go ahead and criticize all you want. We've never worn a helmet. Um, Verlene was not wearing a helmet neither. Thankfully, she didn't get as injured as I did. Very thankful for that. Now she'll say that the little bit of adjustment that I did saved her life. I don't know about all that, uh, but I appreciate her uh, saying that. Uh, but still, at the end of the day, she walked away with concussions and some bruising on her face from where she headbutted me because we came to such a complete and hard stop. That's what knocked her out. That's what knocked me out. We both went flying. Again, on a motorcycle, 60 mile an hour, sudden stop. You ain't got nowhere to go but to go airborne and take all that energy from handlebars, motorcycle frame, etc., and just take it. And that's what happened. Um, spent five days in the hospital. Verlene went home the next morning because, uh, again, she didn't have any internal bleeding or anything. But they checked me for extra stuff, uh, rightfully so, because I, I was pretty messed up. Uh, they cut all my clothes off on the highway. Um, and it was cold, and I'm a white boy. <laughs> so I asked them to leave my drawers on, and they, they, they graciously did that. But uh, um, at the end of the day, we're on this side of the grass. Uh, we can see grass. We're not looking at the roots. Uh, so we're very, very fortunate from that point of view. Motorcycle, again, going to be replaced. Uh, we will ride again. I'm not going to be afraid to live the life that I love to live. I am going to ride a motorcycle. I do have a helmet. So again, criticize all you want. Whether I wear it or not, it's still up to me, but I just don't like helmets. Um, but at the end of the day, we're alive. We are healing. We are getting through it. That's why you haven't seen any fishing uh, because I haven't been able to fish. I'm just now getting, again, some mobility back in the arm and some strength back into the arm where I can grip things and this, that, and the other. So um, being on this side of the dirt, we're very fortunate. We should have been dead because 
I should have had broke legs from where the, my leg got cut and trapped. Again, I had bruises on my toes. My legs should have got caught and stayed in between the motorcycle and the car. Uh, should have broke, sh probably should have broke a hip or two. Um, probably could have broke my back and maybe even my neck. Uh, but again, I got the damage on this side uh, to demonstrate all that. And again, the joints on my right arm too. Uh, I mean, I had bruising all in my forearm. Forearm was bent. Uh, couldn't move that uh, for a little bit. And, uh, and again, it all turned yellow and purple and green. And it was, shoulder was all yellow, purple, gr chest, shoulder blade, down my ribs, all bruised up. Um, cut up on my legs, my knees. Uh, no matter of fact, I still got scab because <laughs> I've been my knees so much just walking and squatting and doing normal things and again we're very fortunate that we're able to do normal things so uh, live your life is my point live it how you want to is the other point and then last but not least be thankful for what you got appreciate it enjoy your freedom all this nonsense going on in the world now over in ukraine and everything live your life live it how you want Go fishing, go riding, go do what makes you happy, whether it's golf or whatever, go. Cause you never know, you never know when some jackass is gonna pull out in front of you, whether you're in a car, airplane, helicopter, normal flight, a normal drive to the grocery station. Again, for us, it was a normal dinner date that we do. We didn't make it back home. And it could have been over right then and there. Then what you gonna do? then what's your excuse? You can't make no excuses. You have no regrets because you're dead. All right, so live your life. Go do the things that you want to do. Be happy. I'm going to go fishing. As you can see, I'm prepping the, uh, the bird here. Not the bug, but the bird. Uh, I've had bugs so, so many times. And uh, this one's been limited because I haven't been able to use it uh, since December. So um, again, that's nearly three and a half, four months. Three months. Uh, but we're getting her back on the water. She's checked out on the motor. And uh, again, we're going to be very, very, f you know, happy uh, to be on the water again and to be on a motorcycle again and to, and to be able to wash my head with both hands, uh, lifting a gallon of milk into the refrigerator, you know, simple little things. Uh, just be thankful because tomorrow you may not be able to. Don't take it for granted because it'll be taken away from you if you do. All right, that's my public service announcement. Again, make sure your insurance is as much as you can afford it. I upped all the max. That's an extra $1,000 a year, but that's nothing compared to a uh, nearly $200,000 worth of medical bills. The other dude's insurance ain't gonna cover you. They might not even have it. So cover your butt, cover your six, cover your ass. Get the insurance, pay for it. You'll thank yourself if you ever, ever need it. It'll be there. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate all the good vibes. And uh, y'all go rip some lips. We'll be on the water soon.